Hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about this General Electric 250 high pressure sodium lamp made in Hungary and we have a nice etch on it and on the other side we have like a date stamp which looks like 0402 1702 if you know anything about date stamps let us know in the description below we've got a slight bit of mirroring on the top lamps contain obviously sodium and a little bit of mercury these are the lights that we used on the main roads in Leicester. They are 250 watts and they are the large Edison screw and a little dimple on the end which holds the whole lot in place. Very nice built lamps. And they were used in street lights car parking lots, floodlights, they were used in just about everything. And they replaced um, mercury lights and low pressure sodium street lights. And they were around for uh, quite a while. And now in Leicester, all of them bar a handful have been replaced by the new G5 LED smart street lighting so at night now you don't see the yellow glow in the sky however you can occasionally this time of year when the Leicester City football ground and the rugby ground of have got these on the pitches basically growing the grass because in the winter the sun is so low and so weak they basically need grow lights which these are also um, to help with the growing of the grass so on that note what we'll do is we'll turn it on and let it start up and we'll run the video on it with start up The noise you can hear is obviously from the igniter and I am running it on what was formerly a inside a 500 watt or 250 watt floodlight and it's now a test rig uh, for demonstration purposes only. Always be careful with electricity because it is dangerous, especially if not treated with respect. The light is going to start getting a little bit flickery now. But we'll let it continue to brighten up. I have fixed the exposure on this camera so it will just steadily get should get brighter and brighter but hopefully not too bright I don't want it to white out the camera I don't want it to go too dark well anyway here it goes it's starting to really power up now The igniter basically seems to run until the bulb gets to virtually full brightness and then it'll slowly get quiet and then the fitting really makes no noise whatsoever. The ballast inside the unit is an SPL England HD250. Um, it's 
seems to run high pressure sodium mercury lights, um, metal halide lights and high pressure sodium lamps and then the only other bits of kit here is the igniter which seems to power anything from 100 to 400 watts HP lamps between 35 and 450 WMH whatever that is um, and obviously a capacitor just to um, smooth out electricity so it doesn't interfere with anything but the igniter is still buzzing away but getting quieter and now the light is getting up to full brightness I'm going to turn off the studio lights So now when we turn off this sodium light, you'll only have a light on the camera and the steady glow from the cooling sodium lamp. Light has been on now for approximately five minutes. and is virtually up to full brightness. I could go into more detail about these lights, but there is a lot of people who know a lot more about these lights than I do. And if you want to find any information about high pressure sodium lamps you can always use the internet they explain the gases and the, the type of glass used well anyway i hope you enjoyed this video of a 250 watt high pressure sodium lamp on startup getting up to full brightness and we'll finish it off with me turning off the power and we'll watch the light slowly cool down and once again I'd like to say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I have also got um, some low pressure sodium lights a mercury light and a metal halide light to also do so if this one goes well I'll be doing them hopefully in the future and once again thank you for watching and let's watch this light cool down goodbye